All right, today I want to look at this interesting question in graph theory where we have um, the diameter of a graph, which I denote as diam g, is the greatest distance between two vertices of g. And so here, if we have a simple graph, um, we want and the diameter is greater than three, we want to show the, the complement has a diameter less than three. Uh, I had to spend a little bit of time thinking about this, but um, I think I got a solution. And so first we can say um, we may assume G is connected, so we don't have to worry about different components. All right, now why is that? Because um, if you had two components, two components, you got vertices here and vertices here. You can see that in the complement, you're going to have lots of edges between those components, and so the, actually the diameter of your complement is going to be less than or equal to two. Okay, so that's an easy case to rule out. All right, so now let's let uh, x and y be vertices where um, so such that the uh, distance in G of X and Y is actually your diameter. So remember that's going to be greater than 4. So as the diameter of G is greater than 4, we know that there are there, there are some other vertices as well. There exists a U and V in the vertex set throughout X and Y. Okay, so that just means that there are vertices other than x and y. Okay, and what we're going to show is we'll show that uh, the distance for these guys in the complement is always going to be less than 3. Um, and we don't have to really consider x and y here because since they're um, not, I mean, since they're not adjacent in G, they will be adjacent in G complement. So here's our picture right now, UV. Okay, so first of all, um, if u and v, I'm sorry, if u v is not an edge in G, then we know what? That their distance and the complement is going to be 1. They're going to be um, adjacent in the complement otherwise, right? So we can say then, that, uh, so we can say that, that that case is ruled out, so let's just proceed to the next case. So we we now from now on assume that they're um, adjacent. All right. So what else do we know? Well, let's figure out how they connect to x and y. So um, we see here that uh, u cannot be in the intersection of x and y. Now, why is that? Because if it is, then the distance between x and y is two, and we know it's greater than four. Greater than I mean, greater than three. So um, that's not going to work. Okay. So we can say since uh, the distance between x and y is greater than or equal to four, and the same is true for v. So let's just say same for v. All right. Now another thing that piece of information we're going to gather is um, note if x is not in the intersection of u and v so in other words x if x is not adjacent to both of these guys then uh, the distance between u and v equals 2 in the complement why because u x y is a path in g prime Okay, so this would this is what that situation looked like. If you had um, where these purple edges are not there, okay, then um, you can go from u to x to v in the complement, and you have distance two. All right, so um, let's call that one because I think we're gonna have to come back to that. So what else could happen? Then that means that um, you're gonna have one of you is connected to x or y. In the same for v, so um, so either uh, ux vy is an edge or are edges, and uh, the opposite vy and ux are not edges. Or the other case could be the flip, vy and ux. Oops, I just said the same thing twice, didn't I? I meant vx and u, y are in the edge set, 
okay, and that's what I meant up here. In the first case, VX and UY are not edges, and UX, VY are not edges. Those are the two situations, but, so uh, let me put some red edges for that. That means that, um, these are supposed to be red. That means that uh, you have something like this. But if that's the case, but in this case, there's a problem. Uh, the distance between x and y is 3. right? And we know the distance between x and y has to be greater than or equal to 4. So, um, so this can't happen. The red edges can't happen. We know that the um, blue edges can't happen. So what must happen, because these are all the possibilities, thus 1 is true. And more, import more important, that diameter of g bar then has to be less than or equal to 2, which is exactly what we're trying to show. All right, this is a tricky proof. Um, if you need some help with it, leave a comment or just get with me. And I'd be glad to explain it further. Um, don't kick yourself if you didn't see this at first. Don't kick yourself if you don't see it now. Just keep looking at it, and I'll be glad to help. Thank you.